my shoes got here. Okay, well, I am stupid excited. You don't even know how hard it was for me to wait to set up the camera and everything before I just tore into this. So, here we go, guys. Alright, so this is uh, mink oil to help waterproof and protect the leather on these shoes. Um, I'll just get the fabled candy I've heard so much about. Holy crap, you guys. It actually looks like it came with a, um, a replacement heel, just in case, which is kind of, kind of cool. And spare buttons as well. This is the uh, button hook. If I can get it out of its nifty little bag. Oh, she's snug. I don't know if that'll focus a little better. issue. Anyway, she's lovely and I have no idea how to use her. We're gonna find out. So in normal shoes I wear a size 7 um, and I run pretty true to size and their website says that they do as well. So here we go. Let's hope I can figure out how to use this little doodad and not make a huge fool of myself on the internet. Okay. So, right boot, boot first. Ah, she fits. She fits beautifully. And I probably should have either worn not these pants or uh, something, maybe a skirt. But we're going to try and button them over the jeans and see if I've got enough room to do that. Feels like I will. Okay, so I'm going to just slightly scooch myself slightly. So. I've seen this done, but it has been a minute since the last time I watched a tutorial video. Basically, if I'm remembering correctly, the idea is you stick your little hook through there, you grab hold of the button, and you pull it through. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so afraid that I'm gonna like pull a button off my very first try, but I probably wouldn't be the first one. There's a scene in the old Shirley Temple version of uh, a little princess where she is at war with her button boots and uh, that's why I wanted a pair that scene stands out in my head really really clearly for some reason. Damn this is tricky. I probably should have started on the other side of my body where I 
could have better access. Once these are on, I'm never going to take them off because uh, this is tricky. Ooh, I almost had it. Ha ha! Button number one. And it only took me three whole minutes. But I think that front, that very first one's probably the toughest because it's the snuggest part of the shoe. Oh, I almost had it on the first try. Come on, out you get. This is why you put your shoes on before you put on like your corset and all your petticoats and stuff because your shoes take yoga. You have to basically get up in your own lap with them. Ooh, I'm getting better. You guys, I am getting better at this. And these are not, these buttons are not on like threads. They're, they're on like little metal loops. I don't know if it's visible on the camera, but they're on metal, not thread. So the chances of like popping them off is significantly lower. I do think you probably could do this without the hook, but like you wouldn't want to. Oops, that sound scared me. Ah. There's definitely a, a trick to it. There's like a rolling motion that seems to be working well you want to get like one edge of the button through and then you sort of have to roll the other edge out. There we go. These are not pull on your shoes, the, the house is burning down, quick shoes, just FYI. Almost there. Almost. probably could have done this on a chair and it might have been easier if I weren't all curled in on myself, but too late now, I'm down, I'm staying. Well, at least you don't have to worry about these like coming untied in the middle of whatever you're doing. I've had shoes I've loved that just would not stay tied for love or money. Ha. Boot number one, finished. I'm not gonna make you watch boot two, but I am gonna put it on. Okay, so the second boot took significantly less time. Um, I did switch the hook from my right hand to my left hand. I'm ambidextrous, so maybe this wouldn't work for everyone, but I thought it was actually easier. Um, and apparently I did start with the right foot because uh, the angle was weird to, to go in uh, from the right side on the right side. Um, but yeah, they're on.
Okay, so they, like I said, they came with extra buttons. They came with um, an extra heel in case uh, something happens to one of yours. My, I wore them around the house for a minute. Um, they're really slick. There's not a whole lot of um, texture or grip on the the bottom, um, except for the heel, which is not leather. The heels, uh, I'm not actually sure what it's made out of. Um, the rest of the sole seems to be leather, and I think it is leather. Let's see if I can get my foot up here. But so this little bit here is the the only texture on the bottom, and so I can do some excellent moonwalking in these shoes on my kitchen floor. I can't moonwalk, that's a lie, but I could if I knew how. Um, let's see. Um, I'll probably get some of those like little stick on, uh, whatever they call them that help your shoes with grip. I'm going to get some of those things once I learn what they're called and just put something like that on the bottom so I don't fall flat on my face. Um, they're leather, so they're going to form to my feet, uh, especially if I get my feet nice and sweaty while wearing them on a warm, humid day gross um but y'all I'm so excited <laughs> I'm so excited I'm so excited um the other thing they came with other than the uh the little doodads in the back is um a little like care instruction slash something or other sheet um, and it's got one side is how to move the buttons on button boots and shoes and the other side is how to stretch your boot and shoe straps and so if you get um, like their I think the new one is the tango has all sorts of straps um, going across it and so if you get one of those and it's not quite long enough for your foot they tell you how to stretch it because it's leather and it's one of the most forgiving things you can work with um, yeah so I'm gonna find a safe home for these extra bits uh, not sure where yet and I'm gonna keep wearing these. I've been, I worked a double this morning and I am willingly keeping heels on as soon as I get home from work because they're just that cute and comfy. So that tells you, I think, everything you need to know. Um, and then I live in Michigan, so the mink oil is gonna come in handy. It gets real wet and snowy here. Uh, says keeps vinyl leather vinyl and plastic soft and supple helps prevent salt stains that's great because Michigan has salty salty roads doesn't have much of a smell I was kind of I wasn't sure what it was gonna gonna be but and I'm pretty sure the uh, American Duchess YouTube channel has like how to apply uh, oils and things like that um, tutorial videos so I will do some research before I go putting anything on these guys but see if I can get the the hook back in your little bag I'm so excited you guys I'm so excited I feel about like eight years old but that's okay it's really snug it's so snug there we go all right. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick this on YouTube as its own video or if I'm going to tuck it in with some other video later, but just in case, <laughs> have fun, make time for the things you love, and I'll see you next time.